Ladies and gentlemen of the board and leaders of TEA, I want to urge you once more to make sure that these publishers actually include 21st century science in these science instructional materials. Recently, I again checked the materials that the major publishers have online and I want to confirm that there is little or nothing included past year 2001. That is 12 years out of date now. How is that going to prepare our students for modern technological workplaces or a study for science in college? Obviously it will not. Some claim that new science developments are too complicated for high school, but they've not been too complicated for the news media or popular science magazines to effect effectively present to a general audience. Indeed, indeed, these skilled writers generally do a good job of getting the essential issues and context across. What I want to assure you is that these publishers, staffs of scientists, writers, and illustrators can do an even better job and do it fairly quickly. All they really need is an appropriate motivation from the State Board of Education. That's I'm sincerely hopeful that they'll receive some of that in the next couple of days. Here are a couple of examples of the kind of thing I'm talking about. Since 2001, science news has been full of the Human Genome Project. And 98% uh, of it is considered non-functional, uh, so-called junk DNA. What do our students know about that? What are the issues there? Well, they know what it's not about. Well, they know anything about the uh, functions that are being formed. Well, they know anything about the ENCODE project, uh, 422 scientists, international research project researching that uh, non-functional DNA. They estimated that uh, something like 80% of that is functional, and they're discovering new ways more and more. There's also epigenetics. I want to point that out to you. It's critically important. That's control systems of uh, how genes are very expressed, and they're getting involved in diseases uh, like cancer. Uh, there are currently medical treatments being generated right now based on epigenetics. Will kids know anything about that at all? It would be an absolute shame if they did not. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mercer. Mayo, thank you for being here today. I just have two quick questions. That, uh, educate me again on layman's definition of epigenetics. Epigenetics, uh, you know, the, the uh, gene, genome that we're uh, told about in these textbooks and everywhere for years and years and years now is based on the sequence of base pairs in the DNA. Over and above that, epi over and above, that is a system of, uh, of winding this DNA up on uh, spools called histone groups. And when that DNA is uh, wrapped up like that, uh, uh, it is less uh, easy for it to be read out. So it inhibits it, whereas the uh, sections of DNA in between those. Those spools can actually be moved along to make different parts more easily read. And then there are chemical groups that can be added on to those, uh, both the DNA itself and the histone groups to uh, make uh, DNA red or not red. And when the DNA is in the nucleus and operating, it's not in just in those X-shaped things uh, called chromosomes. They are actually distributed widely and there are attachment points where the DNA is attached to the outer wall of the nucleus and that inhibits certain parts of it. There's all kinds of mechanisms like this being discovered and they're being under, beginning to be understood. Students need to know this kind of thing is going on. They don't need to know in great detail, but they do not need to uh, be picking up some of the main words, some of the key words, and know that this research is going on and generally where things seem to be going though they need to also know that it's, uh, there's a lot that's going to be changing in the future. 
This just stuff okay. should not be left out the Mr. last Mr. Meyer, let's, years. let's see if there's <laughs> another question. Well, I, Mr. I guess, I guess you, so this is what you're talking about, a correlation that the studies of treatments of cancer? Is that what uh, it leads yes, to? Yes, uh-huh. Some, some cancers are, are caused by this, a number of different disease states, autoimmune disease states are uh, tied up with this epigenetics. Thanks. So, so it ter seems terrible to leave this out, just totally leave it out. Thank you, Mr. Okay, Mr. other members? So, Mr. Meyer, so you're saying in what you looked at, it, this was just skipped over, it wasn't written in error. You search the text for over. epigenetics, it's not there. Oh. You read the text, nothing similar is there. I remember us specifically discussing that at the last meeting. So, mm -hmm. but now publishers only have to cover 50% of the TEAG, so um, we're kind of stuck between rock and a hard place. But I understand, I understand. Okay, okay. any other questions? Okay, thank you very much.